What's up, my dudes? This is Ken. Um, today's video, I wanted to do show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing a cruise control delete. Um, right now, I'm just I'm waiting for a water pump to come, a new water pump to come in because the one that's in here is defective. So what I did is, uh, for you uh, 3000 GT owners, know that the cruise control module goes right here. And that the plug in right there plugs right into it. Actually, through the, the cruise control module over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Sell it. Or keep it. But I want to show you guys how to do this. How I was shown how to do this. So, um, basically, what you know, what you're going to do is remove the cruise control module. It's going to... Here, I'll bring it out so I show it to you guys. Take... All right, so, you know, you guys are going to look at be seeing this with all the uh, different cables. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is take a, take this apart, take all the cables off this thing to the point where the only cable you're going to have is the cable coming from the throttle body. Okay? Um, the, the part that gets that's bolted down right here and going right to the thr throttle body, and then it, goes, then it goes right to the cruise control thing, which is this cable right here. This get bolted. This piece gets bolted, and in this little section here goes into the throttle body. And this other end, which went into the cruise control, cruise control module, is actually going to go into your little hole in the dash, right down there, down to the down to the gas pedal, which I actually have over here. Um, while it's out, I would highly recommend like. I don't know, squirting some squirt, uh, the silicone lubricant in the spring here to make it not as squeaky. Maybe one of these days I'll get a new pedal too. Um, I'll highly suggest cleaning this, which I'm going to do actually. And I just seen that it's this dirty. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to have this little yellow piece, okay? Um, this yellow piece is in your gas pedal, um, right? In this little hole right here and what you're gonna do which I already done is take a real sharp razor knife oops and basically like, I already I've already done this so I'm not gonna do it again you're gonna cut all the way down and make a and make an opening for like this. This is hard plastic, so you don't have to really worry about it breaking. And uh, basically, what you're going to do now is uh, you're going to have this. I would put this aside for now with the gas pedal. You're going to run your cable. Okay, this this end right here. Oh, and you're going to need to um, this piece right here at the end. You can see it. See, I, I actually cut it. You're supposed to, I would highly suggest using a file. Or, or if you, uh, what would work, what would work even better if you had a, a bench grinder? You're going to want to make this piece right here really small, which I did. Um, I grind as, mu as much as I could and finally I said to hell with it. I took my pair of pliers with the cutting tool here and I just cut it in half. But it's actually, it's still attached there. Uh, the reason why I did this is because this little piece here is going to have to go in this little yellow fitting. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, cable bolted to the throttle body. I'm going to reattach this end to the throttle body really quick. Okay, so I managed to get this uh, cable, the throttle body cable, um, fairly tight. You know, and there's no slack really. There's a little, um, basically what you got to do, um, with this piece, you know, you, you feed it through your little hole there with one nut and pr preferably a washer. Um, you don't really need the washer because the nut is bigger than the, the hole in the frame, but I did it just for the hell of it. And, uh, for this thing here, uh, you're going to want to, 
um, bringing this whole fixture, this whole bracket, all the way back as far as you can go, uh, because it it gives out the most. It pulls out all the slack in this uh, this line going to the throttle body, and the extra line going into the gas pedal. Now this was this getting under here was a huge struggle for me. I actually had to get one of my kids, one of my daughter's friend, and she's like a little twig, <laughs> uh, but she really helped me out. Let's see if I can get the camera in here so you can see what I had what I did. All right. So as you can see here, the little yellow piece, you have to feed. The end of the cable through that little yellow piece you actually had to cut in the little yellow piece a one millimeter uh distance a hole so the cable can go can go into the that little yellow plastic thing and then you push the yellow thing through the gas pedal opening and then you just bolt the gas pedal to the wall and there is there was zero slack there's zero slack in it now so all good there so there's zero slack and you know it's right to the throttle body now i, heard, I read i read somewhere that by doing this you you actually have more response to your throttle, and you know this is just a this is just a hot rod, so I'm not I'm really not going to be, you know, cruising anywhere unless I take it to work. But you know I'm not going to buy. That's why. So that's why the, to release all the slack out of this line, you have to move this bracket all the way back to the driver's side. This way it fits. So it's all good. That's all you had to do. It's super simple. Just you know, to summarize, just remove your remove your cruise cruise control module. Take the cable from the, the original cable to the throttle body and that that originally ran all the way to the th cruise control module, but instead just take it and wire it into your gas pedal. It's and just bolt it. You get, this piece actually has two nuts. There's this nut. And the, the nut on the other side that you use to, uh, com, you know, tighten it to the frame. So this is solid. This ain't moving now. And, and then run it to your gas pedal. Um, you know, if you guys have, any, have any, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. Um, about cruise control delete. You know, if you like, if you like this video, if this is... If this how-to is somewhat good for you, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more 3000 GT content. And I'll see you guys next time. Drive safe.